Hi, Emily and Luna here. Um, I just finished trimming one of her bracelets. Now I'm going to trim the other uh, and I will show you what I do. So I start at the foot and I take my little clipper and just kind of make the line more defined here, the shave line. Some groomers, sometimes I do this, sometimes this actually speeds things up if you hold the hair down, it'll give it a little bit of a bevel. I don't always do this because it can be a little bit predict unpredictable, um, but usually it works fine as long as you don't go up too high. Okay. So now that I have done that, I'm going to take my shears, these are 7 inch curves, and I'm just going to go around the bottom here, get all of this loose hair, it's hanging down. My son is making noise in the background, sorry. Okay, so now that I have the foot a little bit more defined, I'm just going to go up from there. So, just kind of bevel this up. Now that I have my curve there, I always just constantly while I'm grooming, I will take the comb and run it through. That gets all the hairs that weren't sticking out, and then you can take off all the little sticky outies. Okay. All right, so you can see her foot a lot better now. Come here, Luna. Come here. Good girl. Okay. So now that she is standing, let's see. Okay. Um, I've got her standing up for this. I'm going to take, I'll probably use my straight shears for a minute. And just take off hair along the edges. Anything that's sticking out. I'm not taking a ton of length off right now. I like her bracelets to be a little bit fuller. Okay. Okay, now that she's standing, I can also um, see all this extra hair around the toes that I missed. And so I'm going to take all that off. And I'm using my curves for this. The curves make this a whole lot easier if you have a small pair of curves. It does make it a lot easier to get in here, but you can do it with straights. Okay. And I'm going to take a little bit more off to try and match it to her other foot. Um, 
And then the top pair, just sit down on the couch and roll on the top and double it down. You just kind of have to look at it from all angles and then just take it off on each side. Okay, so I think that's pretty good for right now. I'm not going for perfection. Especially since she didn't get washed today. She was washed about two days ago, and I did not have time to scissor these at that time after her full groom. So the best time is to do it right after a bath, but since I didn't have time, I just had to do it now. And hope that they turn out okay. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm just going to fluff it out one more time and just make sure that there's nothing too awful sticking out. I'm going to take this down a notch. Alright, so that is it. You can see both of those now. From the other angle. Well, there it is. I'm obviously not a perfect job. I'm sitting on the floor instead of using a grooming table, so it's not going to be great. But that's how I trim her bracelets. Thanks for watching. Bye.